Uh, my name is Andrew Brennan and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I have been looking for ways to uh, find passive income and a lot of the stuff that I kept seeing on the internet uh, and from other friends required that you have uh, lots of money, uh, loan, do loans, uh, and uh, seek private investors and I guess I was trying to find something that didn't require uh, anything or very little and uh, just after searching the internet and, and YouTube uh, I slowly stumbled onto his videos and he seemed honest because uh, there's so many people out there that have different real estate programs and 90% of them are scams uh, and you know I emailed him and, and could call him uh, that's a real person to me uh, so his program and his story was uh, seemed inspiring and legit, so I, I thought I'd give it a go. And it's, it's definitely been worth it because I've been able to pay a lot of bills doing the stuff that he teaches. I guess it's been about a year and a half since I've been into it, and I've been fortunate that I've been able to uh, put together some deals, and, and it's definitely paid for itself. The first deal, uh, there's people that come into this program and can do it right away. Um, that wasn't the case for me. It was. Uh, it, it took me about a little over five months. I was kind of at the end of the program before I was able to get my first deal. And I had did my first deal with a, a friend of mine who's. Uh, I've done all my deals with a friend of mine who's into real estate too. Uh, but I made after taxes about twenty seven hundred, and uh, yeah, it it shouldn't have taken that long. Uh, but I, I just you know that that I relied too much on trying to know all the details, when in reality, if you just take a step back and look at it, the process is quite simple. Uh, so it's about five months. But um, uh, most people, if they just try not to think everything through and go through with it, I, I think they could put a deal within a month, uh, one to two months. It, it really is kind of easy. The best deal I've done was last fall. Um, it was a waterfront property. It, it, and um, it was uh, actually a lead that one of my uh, friends that I do this with, uh, it was a guy that was moving out of town and uh, he wanted to sell his house. Uh, he didn't have much equity and we were able to list it uh, for about 400000 It was worth probably three seven seventy, and I made, I made after taxes a little bit over 6000 uh, so that that pretty much paid for the the course itself. Of course, a lot of that money though uh, went to bills, <laughs> paying down more debt. That's that's really why I got into the program. It's just kind of something to uh, pay down my student loans because I have about forty thousand dollars worth of them, and uh, most of that is paid off now. And now, the longer I've been in the program, I can see that you don't have to use it as a vehicle to to pay bills. You can eventually use it as something. Uh, that can replace your full-time income to a much greater extent and that's kind of where uh, the direction I want to head in is to the point where I could be making six figures and and replace my full-time income so I can use this as a vehicle to do other things that I want to do. Average income is a little bit over 4,000. Uh, I've only done five deals uh, but most of the houses in my area are worth uh, Roughly three hundred thousand. I know it could be much higher, and four thousand income. I think it's just it's variable for each person. I think I could do much more. I've been giving away half my profits because I've been doing with it with somebody else. Uh, so uh, eventually, probably sometime soon, I'm going to cut that off because I really don't need another person now. I kind of know how to how this process works. Uh, so it's been about four thousand, but uh, you know, in reality, it could probably be closer to. 10,000. The first deal was five months. I, I've done, in a year and a half, I've done five deals. So no, not consistently, but that has nothing to do uh, with the program or, or the auto marketer. Uh, the reason I haven't been closing it consistently is just out of pure laziness. I've, I've done stuff here and there and then I've taken a month or two or three months off. Uh, so. No, it's not consistently, but I know if I were to keep at it, it, it definitely could be consistently. That's, uh, that's how confident I am because I know it works. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's the approach I'm going to take is to make it more consistent because the longer I've been in this, the more I realize that 
I want to eventually replace uh, doing sales uh, with my current job <laughs> to, to something that I actually enjoy and I control, can control uh, my money and time and not have somebody else do that. Over the next three to five years, I'd like to be in a position to where I, I can work for myself while making six figures. Um, but eventually, I, I would like to use this uh, to be able to buy what I think is more important than money. Of course, money and time is uh, correlated, but uh, I want to use this as a vehicle to allow me to go off and do other things, e experiences. I'm not really uh, into buying fancy clothing or, or cars or, or you know a big house. I, I'd rather be able to go to the Bahamas or, or travel to Hawaii and, and not be limited by money or, or be limited by a job. Uh, so yeah, it's, the goal is in the next couple of years to be able to walk away and, and be able to earn six figures and, and I eventually want to start uh, doing subject to uh, rental properties because I, I think that is definitely a winnable strategy long term. It just takes time as all investments do. No. <laughs> yeah, and that's, again, that's another reason that's just been on me because I, I have been dabbling in it here and there. There's, uh, you know, it definitely should be more consistent, and that's one thing Joe says is to commit, and my commitment has been here and here and here and here. I've done it, and I haven't done it, and that's just uh, because I haven't made that full commitment yet. If you don't have much money, uh, and I wouldn't recommend doing loans or, or, I mean, if you have private money, that could be a, a source to help uh, flip properties. Uh, you can also lose your shirt quick. Um, but I would recommend look into seller financing. Uh, find ways to do that, do creative financing, because it's, it's going to be harder that way, and you have to kind of get out of your own head because you're going to have to sell people uh, on doing it. And there's only going to be about 5% of properties that will do what you want to do, but they are out there because there's people that are always in, in unique situations and and you can help them. But I, I would recommend doing seller financing and I also would recommend uh, to fight the fear of reaching out to people. Uh, that, that's one thing that kind of slowed me down a little bit and you know the worst that can happen is just them saying no. Uh, there will be people that beat you up a little bit on the phone but uh, you know, just move on because, uh, you know, this, like I said, the worst thing they, they can say is no. Uh, so just jump in. Uh, don't use private money or loans and, and uh, really read into seller financing uh, because that's a way you can do it without putting yourself at risk. My family, not so much. Um, uh, they think it's kind of crazy because when I explain this stuff to them, they, they uh, Family and friends, they're just kind of stuck in the conventional way of you can't do that, you need private money, um, you, you know, uh, you have no experience, which I, I think is it's kind of a motivator for me because the more others try to drag you down, it's like the more you want to push through. Um, but on my personal life, I, I can honestly say that the program has paid for itself. Uh, it's allowed me to sleep better at night because I have more money in the bank and as I mentioned before I have a lot of student debt and most of that is gone. I have only about 5,000 left so it's definitely uh, this program has saved me uh, from a strangling payment that I was doing before uh, so, and it's also just opened my eyes to see that uh, there's more that's possible for you than you know just the, the conventional way of go to school uh, get a job. <laughs> you know, if you can make this uh, full-time, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities because you don't have to do this full-time. This is something that, you know, when I do make that commitment and do it consistent, uh, I'll do for an hour or two hours every day. And, you know, you have a lot of time on the weekends. So, yeah, it's, it's opened my possibilities uh, to, to see that, you know, you can be more than a lemony job. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's one of my big hurdles is that I, I just need to stay committed to it. Uh, I don't think you need to do it full time because the way this is set up is you can do it one or two hours and still be successful. On, honestly, uh, with the for rent method like I've been starting out, it, it's going to take you some time at the beginning, but I don't think um, once you get good on the phone, you're going to be able to do it a lot quicker. It's not going to take 10 hours a week. It may take a couple hours a week uh, because you can throw an ad in Craigslist. 
if you want to show the property and you know have somebody do it for ten dollars an hour and put a lockbox on the door put signs around the yard so in terms of full-time yes I, I want to make the commitment uh, not so much with the for rent deal I'm going to continue to do that but I, I want to do start doing other deals subject to land contracts I just I want to wrap my head around that better that's why I'm coming back here <laughs> with the for rent method uh, I will say uh, there's uh, a few different approaches I've taken at this and I'm going to talk about this because most people coming into this program are started out with that and the auto marketer will definitely help and they've made an improvement that it pulls from Zillow which I think this is just my opinion I think it's a lot better than Craigslist because the leads are more qualified and there's not as many hurdles that you have to go through because uh, Craigslist it's they always change things which make which you know for me has made it harder to get leads uh, but if the auto marketer doesn't work one thing I will say that has worked for me uh, is you can go on Craigslist and I would filter out uh, the rentals, uh, the make me moves, and the for sale by owners and you can compile a list in a spreadsheet based on that and with the rentals you can go on it and uh, you can see that it's listed with an agent. You can also see if it's just an individual property manager because there's not going to be a realtor's sign on there or, or realty but you can make a list of 50, 60 people and because I hate cold calling a lot what I would do is uh, sometime throughout the week I would uh, send text messages from my phone and I would have it the way Joe had set it up would you consider selling your house rent to buy and send that out to everybody and most people are gonna say no uh, but you know 10 to 15 out of 50 of those people will respond maybe yes call me back and you can call those people up and have a little research on the property and and uh, I've been able to put together two of those uh, two deals that way uh, so it's it's definitely possible if you can't do the auto market or just get more creative in the the coming months I'm gonna press restart and uh, start making a commitment to do this on a regular basis I'm gonna uh, use the auto marketer as well as some of my own methods and, and get the for rent going and I'm also gonna try to start structuring uh, other zero down deals subject to use land contracts because I think that's a win-win situation uh, over the long term and for the people I mean the the people I will say when you reach out to them they're gonna a lot of them are gonna say you're crazy that's not gonna benefit me but if they really can understand how this may help them they can see that it is beneficial and this could be a viable alternative because I, I will say I mean I, I talk to endless people that do this and they look at me like I have three heads uh, it is possible it's unconventional but, I, you know, it, it will work. Uh, the, these ways, I think, are, are the best way to get involved with real estate. You don't have to do it the way of going to the banks or relying on daddy sugar to <laughs> provide you with lots of money. Uh, it's, it's possible to do it with little to nothing. And this program is, is a vehicle to do that if you take action and uh, you stop listening to the limiting factors in your head and, and from the outside. It, it can work.